the Louisiana Superdome in New Orleans. The 1996 Southeastern Conference Tournament has reached the semifinal round. Today's first game matching the Razorbacks of Arkansas against the Wildcats of Kentucky. All right, Buzz, thank you. And there is Pat Bradley against the Gamecocks, 7 of 12 from the arc to lead the Razorbacks with 23. Darnell Robinson never even got off the floor as Kentucky controls the opening tap. McCarty being checked by Robinson. Fast-paced game. Both teams like the pressure defense. We'll get up and down today. Similar styles of Nolan Richardson and Rick Pitino. Tony Dell from three-point land. Top of the backboard, the shot clock which is out of bounds. It'll go to Arkansas. And Delk now just two of his last eight shots. Continues to struggle a little bit. Receiving all those accolades the last after the regular season ended. Tony Delk named SEC Player of the Year. That can have an, an impact on you. Delk struggling after receiving all those honors and all that attention. Here's Kentucky's full court pressure. Towns collides with Anderson and is called for the player control foul. And Anderson looks shaken up. Well, looks like that uh, Anderson's shaking off the cobwebs, a little woozy for a moment. Might have gotten hit in the jaw, but okay. Walker against Derrick Hood. Turns to the hoop, blocked by Robinson. On the floor, saved by Epps. And they say no, he was out of bounds. So Kentucky will turn it over to Arkansas. Anderson inside, Delk made the fake. Walker got it. Ball movement once again, unselfish play. Tony Delk had a chance to take a shot. Antoine Walker had a, had a better one. Delk delivered. For the first time, Arkansas solves the press, and they get Hood for a layup. Nice job handling the pressure that time. Reed taking it inside to Hood. Delk threw it right to Towns. Here's Reed against Epps. Foul on Anthony Epps. No. Traveling call, excuse me, traveling call. Reed will turn it over to Kentucky. Arkansas and Coach Nolan Richardson trying to get some easy baskets. Pushing the break off that turnover. Kareem Reed, unfortunately, called for the trail on that time. They tied it two as Epps launches a three. Anthony Epps shooting the ball extremely well this year, over 40% on the season from three point range. Here's Reed. And his shot altered inside, and Walker takes it the other way. Now Delk finds Epps open at the three-point line. He's one of two, followed by Delk, no good. Tapped by Walker, and he's over the back of Darnell Robinson. First foul. Kentucky's only hit two of its first six shots. Arkansas's gotten only two looks at the basket, hitting one. Hey, hey. Any turnovers for Arkansas. They can't win and turn the basketball over that much. They've got numbers here. Hood. Blocked by McCarty, then stripped away from Hood again. He's got it back, and no basket. Traveling is called on Derrick Hood. Anthony Epps is hurt. A lot of contact on that play. Derrick Hood under the basket. A lot of bodies flying around. I'm not sure what happened to Epps. May have taken a shot in the face. Kentucky sends in number five, Wayne Turner, for number 25. Looks like, uh, Jamil, the trainer holding a, a compress over his uh, right eye. Of course, Epps has been the subject of much discussion in the Kentucky camp. He did not start as the Wildcats point guard, took over rather early in the season, then went back to the bench in favor of the freshman Wayne Turner for a while, and then has returned to that accustomed spot. And Rick Pitino says he is the straw that stirs the drink for the Wildcats. Here's Hood trying to get that basket. You'll see his elbow catch Anthony Epps right around the eye. Epps goes down. Derrick Hood just fighting for the basketball. Not a dirty play at all. Not throwing the elbow, just going after the basketball. And Epps around 6'2", just the right height for Derrick Hood at 6'8". His elbows finding Epps' head. So that could be a costly loss for the Wildcats. Turner does take over at the point. Arkansas trying their zone defense. Turner immediately shoots a little floater that won't go there. Still 
not being able to hit the basket, but their press is working, causing Arkansas all kinds of trouble. Anderson had a near steal. And once again, Kareem Reed does not get the basketball after that, after that basket. A near turnover for Arkansas. They're good trying to push the break. Arkansas trying to zone defense. Or Kentucky trying to zone defense. Excuse me. Another deflection knocked out of bounds by Turner. 17 on the shot clock. Arkansas's trouble for most of the season, they have not shot the basketball very well from the perimeter. Kentucky trying to pack it in and force the outside shot from anyone other than Pat Bradley. 44.9% as a team in the regular season. Six in the SEC. Towns with a penetration, trying to dish it back to Reed as the shot clock goes off. He hits a three. Kareem Reed, only a 26% three-point shooter. And got that one just as the buzzer went off. Up against the clock to tie it. Walker got rid of it to Dell. Still can't buy one. Robinson the rebound. Here comes Reed. Numbers for Arkansas. Reed lost control for a moment. Regained it. Very good. Called for an offensive foul. Cleared out with his off hand. Took that arm and hand and wiped the path to the basket. Kentucky's five points, all the result of five Arkansas turnovers. Delp missed a layup, tapped in by McCarty. Tony Delp is really struggling. Got to be having a little bit of a confidence problem right now. Tam on the other end by Robinson as they beat the pressure. And that's what happens when Kareem Reed has the basketball in the open court. Floater McCarty goes down. He has four. Oh, McCarty starting to heat up. Reed with a run out. Saves it right to Turner. Kentucky takes it the other way. Anderson dishing McCarty. Blocked. Blocked by Wilson. Saved inbounds to Dell. Walker lost it. And then got it back. <laughs> this game's out of control. Walker's shot. No good. Rebounded by Wilson. Basketball bouncing all over the place. Kareem <laughs> Reed can't handle it. Even bounced off Kareem's head. <laughs> These are new basketballs they're playing with here at the SEC tournament. They're a little slick and hard to handle. We've seen them go flying around quite a bit so far in the tournament. Reed dribbles out of the double team. Towns for three. On the floor to Reed. Takes it back up, no good. This time rebounded by Dell. Outlet to Anderson. Inside, McCarty steps to the baseline. Last night in the Tennessee game, Brandon Wharton took a shot to the eye that required a couple of stitches. All he did was hit seven three-pointers. And may help Anthony Epps if he can have that kind of success. Mark Pope into the game for Kentucky, replacing Antoine Walker. Reach in foul, Walter McCarty. First foul on Walker. And a 20-second timeout taken by Kareem Reed. Mark Pope has called for a foul. That's his first. Before the basketball is played in bounds, Pope and Darnell Robinson were getting into it a little bit, a little pushing and shoving going on. Pope gets nailed. At Bradley, he's been shut down so far. Louisiana Superdome, SEC Tournament Semifinals, Kentucky and Arkansas, Wildcats up two. Point guard Anthony Epps forced to leave the game after suffering a cut over his eye that would require about five stitches. Darnell Robinson stays after it, and the third time, the charm for the Hogs. Arkansas playing with the Twin Towers. Lee Wilson and Darnell Robinson in the game right now. Tank gets the bucket. Hope for three. Rebounded by Robinson. Arkansas looking for its first lead. Wilson rebounded by Pope. The outlet pass stolen, but a foul. Marlon Towns of Arkansas, his second foul. Arkansas really trying to work it inside with those two centers on the court. Lee Wilson unable to get the turnaround to fall for him. Antoine Walker back for Kentucky, or is he? Yeah, he's just going to put the ball in bounds in front of the Kentucky bench as Derek Anderson takes a break. 
Kentucky dismal shooting to start the game. Somewhere under 30%, and Tony Delk continues to struggle. Two of seven against Florida yesterday, and 0 for four to start today's game. Yet Kentucky still tied, having played so poorly, shot the basketball so poorly. They're still the best team in the country. Low post, Walker had a mismatch against Bradley, but missed it, and Robinson pulls down another rebound. That's his fifth board. Yet another easy opportunity for Kentucky. Antoine Walker can't get that turn around the fall. You see Pat Bradley getting a lot of attention from the Kentucky defense after his shooting performance last night. Darnell Robinson from long range. Bad looking shot rebounded by Walker who takes it out on the dribble. Then back tapped away from him saved by Ron Mercer just into the game. Help for three. Finally, that can get him going. That's his first bucket of the game, obviously, and he's now one for five. Tony Delk left, left wide open on that shot. He'll make most of those. Can't leave Tony Delk wide open at 47% from the arc. Walker rebounds that miss. Kentucky again pushes the ball up court. Cats pressuring Pat Bradley and putting it on the floor. Delk feels it now. That one bounced twice and came off. Pope kept it alive but can't save it. Arkansas ball. Well, Tony hit one. He thought he was hot, but he's not there yet. He faked the pass and let it fly. Wouldn't go down. There's Delk with a deflection off the Arkansas player. Landis Williams Arkansas and the Wildcats will get it. Arkansas having all kinds of trouble with the Kentucky pressure to this point. Seven turnovers. Darnell Robinson gets a rest as Derek Hood returns. Pat Bradley cinching up the trunks there. And you better time tight because as long as they are already, they'll be down around your, <laughs> around your feet if you don't watch it. Trademark of the hog in his long baggy shorts. Three-point game. Arkansas slipping back into the zone defense. Diagonal pass. Turner left it for Walker. Cut off by the defense. Turner's penetration. Got the roll. Wayne Turner's first bucket. Here's Hood. A run out the other way. Layup. Off the good. Arkansas throwing over the top, but not having much success finishing those breaks. Now Walker. Cat's starting to heat up right now, and Nolan Richardson wants to stop this run. Kentucky is taking his biggest lead. Wildcats up seven as Arkansas takes timeout. <laughs> Meanwhile, Anthony Epps, uh, stitched up, we assume, is back on the Kentucky bench. Arkansas hitting just four of 14 now, 29%, and he's turned it over, as Barry said, seven times. Kentucky seven of 20, 35%. Kicked ball, recycle the shot clock. Tony Delk doing a nice defensive job against Pat Bradley, putting a lot of pressure on Bradley away from the basketball. Seven Arkansas miscues have led to nine of Kentucky's 16 points. Towns for three. Big bucket for Arkansas. Struggling to score lately. That basket pulls them a little closer. Cut the lead to four. Kentucky beats the Arkansas pressure. Delk misses a three. Walker's follow will count and one. Antoine Walker going strong to the boards. Outstanding player for the Wildcats. Arkansas can do so much. Wayne Turner is also out, and Jeff Shepard makes his first appearance. Antoine Walker completes the three-point play. Remember, he was MVP of last year's tournament as a freshman. There's another turnover. That is the eighth against Arkansas. And they are having all kinds of problems with Kentucky's press. Arkansas, a pressing team. They say pressing teams don't like to be pressed. Arkansas proving that to be true today. Yep. Shows in the yellow effects from the uh, stitches over his eye. Pope from Walker. Kentucky passes the basketball extremely well. Antoine Walker moving it, getting it inside for the easy bucket. 
the big man pass on that, which makes it a difficult pass to defend inside. Antoine Walker, second on the team in assists, 2.6 a game. Robinson, unable to save it. Pope tried to bounce it off him. Out of bounds to the Hogs, 15 to shoot. Such an unselfish team, these Kentucky Wildcats, with all this talent. Robinson over Pope. Six points for Tank. Keeping Arkansas in it, they're down seven. Mercer right around Robinson to lay it in. Wow. Pretty move by the freshman. Gonna be a great one for the Wildcats. Ron Mercer really developed as the season has gone on. Outstanding game yesterday for Kentucky. Bradley trapped, kept alive. Mercer on the floor. Colliding against the table right in front of us. And let's see if Marlon Towns is hurt. Apparently he's all right. Boy, when these two teams play, they ask and give no quarter. Mercer knocked it off Towns. Nice hustle along the sideline. Down by Mercer. Shepard penetrates to Mercer, spotted for the three. No good. Walker with another follow. Antoine Walker going off in this ball game for the Wildcats. Nine points. He does like SEC tournament action. He also has six rebounds. His biggest lead. Antoine Hall into the game for the Razorbacks. Four. Reed, a three-pointer. No good. Rebounded by Epps. He leads the Kentucky break. Arkansas back on defense, though. The trailer Walker saved by McCarty. Walker, no look. McCarty had it swiped by Towns. Nice hand. Knocked the ball away. Here's Reed in the open court. Tapped in by Hood. That's what Arkansas needs. Green Reed pushing the break. Getting in the open court, trying to get some easy baskets. Shepard against Robinson. Missed it with the left hand. Hood the board the other way. Here's Reed. Lob pass, but no good, but a foul. Ron Mercer, the freshman, also able to keep his hair. Antoine Walker was threatening to hold him down and shave his head yesterday, joking with him after that ball game. Antoine Hall hits two free throws. That's the lead to seven. Miguel goes back for the Cats. Epps for three. Second trade for Anthony. Three tapped away by Anderson. Here's McCarty, 6-10 against the little guy. Epps with another three. And who gets the rebound? Kareem Reed. Epps deflects that one out of bounds. Nice job handling the basketball by Walter McCarty. And Anthony Epps, you get bloody and you shoot the three. Epps getting it done for the Wildcats. Saying that his players have the right to split this stack that Arkansas is uh, setting in their out-of-bounds play, and he's right. Reflection by McCarty, steal by Kentucky. Delk has it. Yet another turnover. You can't beat the best team in the country, giving them three possessions. McCarty from Epps. Pretty play. So many weapons for the Wildcats. Walter McCarty with that turnaround. Half a dozen points for Walter. Struggle to score in the half court setting. Don't have the outstanding three point shooters that they're used to having on this club. There's a three, though, off the hands of Antoine Hall. His fifth point off the bench. Antoine Hall, only a 29% three point shooter, nails that. Eric Anderson to Dell. That one down is fifth point. Tony Dell starting to warm to the task here. Very good over Pope. A lot of contact, but no whistle. And Kentucky rebounds the miss. Arkansas continues to struggle shooting and handling the ball against the Kentucky defense. It looked like Pope may have stepped in under Derek Hood as he was taking that shot, but no call for Hood. Pope, Tony Dell. Strong 
rebound by Darnell Robinson. Here's the quick outlet to Ali Thompson. Hall for three. McCarty the board. Headlock broken up by Hall. That's the fifth Kentucky turnover. Poor decision that time from Tony Delk trying to lob it down low to Derek Anderson. The ball knocked away. Double team of Darnell Robinson. Doubling down on the low post, and Robinson in a lot of trouble. Bounced it off McCarty and out of bounds. Allen Edwards in the game for Kentucky for the first time. Bradley is back, three point threat for Arkansas. So is Lee Wilson. Shot clock at four. Reed misses. Kept alive a couple of times, finally to Bradley. Arkansas trying their twin towers look again with Lee Wilson and Darnell Robinson on the court. Antoine Walker is back for Kentucky. Place of the party. Reed checked down by Wayne Turner. Just threw it up there. Not a good play by Reed. Kentucky takes it the other way. Reed looking for the fouls too much today. The officials really letting them play. It's tournament time, so you get away with a little bit more in the tournament. Robinson blocked the shot by Walker. He got it back, but missed the second one. Arkansas able to slow the pace of the game a little bit. I think that will help them. They can stop turning it over. Reed couldn't handle it from Wilson. Robinson passed quickly out of the double down that time. Wilson moved it to Reed, but right through his hands. Daniel Robinson playing pretty well. Six points, six rebounds, and three blocks, but his teammates struggling. Turner lost it, but there was Walker to save. Hope over Robinson. Rebounded by Bradley. Board in traffic from Pat Bradley. He's been very quiet offensively. The Cats giving him a lot of attention on the defensive end. Robinson calling for it in the low post against Pope. Now sets a screen high. Davis. Offensive foul. Nick Davis as Pope takes another charge. We come to the four minute mark. Pope misses the three. Walker, another offensive board, but stepped out of bounds. Antoine Walker seems to be everywhere today, doing a great job on the board. Unfortunately, for Kentucky that time, he's on the end line. Don't forget to stay tuned at halftime as Dick Vitale presents the Direct TV Dish Out the Winner's Sweepstakes. Just under four minutes left until halftime. Arkansas fortunate to only be trailing by 11. They've played poorly, turned the basketball over 14 times to this point. They're lucky to be this close. Reed fouled by McCarty against Kentucky at Rupp Arena. Nine points, six assists for Kareem. And with the absence, though, of Peyton out of bio, he's taken over more of a scoring role. Has four points today. Party for three. Rebounded by Towns, poked away from him momentarily. Out of bounds off Allen Edwards. Kentucky still struggling shooting the basketball from the perimeter. They've not been able to explode on one of their patented runs and extend away from Arkansas to this point. Well, this team's success starts with defense, Kentucky though. And Defense keeping them in it, causing all those Arkansas turnovers. Turner's committing his second foul and six against the Wildcats. Delk replaces Shepard, and Epps will come in for Turner. Turner that foul, trying to shadow Pat Bradley. Kentucky's done a nice job taking him away. McCarty went for the steal, and Robinson burned him with a jam, his eighth point. That's about as easy as it gets. McCarty goes around. Darnell Robinson leaving him a clear path to the basket. Lead cut to eight. Delk for McCarty. Foul. Oh, and he got it in. High off the glass. Wow. McCarty makes the shot. And the three-point play. 35-24. Reed in front court for the Razorbacks. 2.40 left in the half. 
Antoine Walker telling Kareem Reed to shoot the basketball on that trip down. Little intimidation here, a little trash talk. Double team of Robinson passes out of it to Towns for three. Nice work. Well done handling that double team. Darnell Robinson looked cross court, found Towns for the open jumper. Two of three shooting from the arc for Marlon Towns. Yelp open from three point land. Won't go down. Edwards follow no good. Then McCarty puts it through. Kentucky killing Arkansas with turnovers and the offensive rebound. 11 points for Walter McCarty, lead back to 10. Here's the trap of Towns, dribbling his way out of it. Whips it underneath, and the reverse is good by Williams. Nice job in traffic, Hall and Towns delivering to Landis Williams. McCarty driving on Robinson. Can't get the roll, Walker tapped it through. Another offensive rebound, Antoine Walker doing the job on the glass. He has 11 points to match McCarty. Antoine Walker developing into a superstar for Kentucky. There's a bad pass from Darnell Robinson. That was really just an unforced error, Kentucky and it is the 15th Arkansas turnover. Arkansas sends in number 23, Antoine Hall. Antoine Hall is back for Arkansas, replacing Towns. Also Nick Davis is going to come in, too. 31, Nick Davis. Davis he replaces, replaces Landis, Landis Williams. Williams. And Kentucky has sent Derek Anderson in for Allen Edwards. Arkansas really has played poorly. Getting killed on rebounds. Kentucky with a 15-5 advantage and second chance points. All the turnovers. Arkansas fortunate to be within 10. Eric Anderson pops a short jump for his first basket. Arkansas continues to play this way. Kentucky's gonna, gonna get rolling sooner or later. And blow the hogs out of here if Arkansas doesn't pick it up. Final minute of the half. Three for three. Rebounded by Walker, and here he comes. Three on three break. Walker holds it up. Gives up to Epps. <laughs> Antoine Walker begging for it against Kareem Reed down low. Well, he got it, and it was blocked. Now dealt for three. McCarty kept it alive. Wow. Epps for three. Tapped in by Delt. Another example of the offensive board work by Kentucky. Too many opportunities for such a talented, excellent shooting ball club. Bradley, no good. Rebounded by Walker. Final 15 seconds of the half. And look at Antoine Walker telling the guards to get away. He's going to take it himself right here and Kareem Reed out the challenge. Lost it out of bounds. Last touch by Arkansas. Only a tip allowed here with .1 seconds left on the clock. Kentucky will take its 20-second timeout. They don't carry over, so you might as well take it to set up that uh, tip play. Can't catch and shoot with .1. Tom Hammond, Barry Booker, Bob Kessling, Dave Baker at the Louisiana Superdome, Kentucky, in search of extending its school record consecutive win streak to 27. And looking for its 20th SEC Tournament Championship leading at halftime. Second half underway, immediate foul, Antoine Walker. That's his second. Walker leading the way with 11 points and 11 boards. He had 23, you'll remember, in the SEC championship game against Arkansas. McCarty had 11. Robinson leading the Arkansas attack with eight. Delk with seven points as there's a near steal. Delk had seven points. He's only hit three of 12. And Tony for the tournament, five of 19, only 26% shooting. And there's Pat Bradley. He's been shut off by the Kentucky defense, chiefly Tony Delk. Hit 7 of 13 last night, 0 for 2 today. Let's see if Arkansas can get things turned around, cut down on their turnovers, and rebound the basketball better in the second half. Nice diagonal pass from Robinson, but Towns missed the three. Offensive board work by Reed. It won't go down. On the floor. Picked up by Walker of Kentucky. Arkansas working hard, going to the glass. Just couldn't get it down. Had several good opportunities on that trip down. Here's Dell over Robinson and one. Finally 
Tony Delk gets rolling a little bit, get that lay in. We'll see if that helps his shooting from the perimeter. Second foul on Darnell Robinson. Delk only 6-1, but plays much bigger with those long arms. And completes the three-point play. He has 10. McCarty inside can't get the ball to it. Arkansas really has trouble scoring in half court setting. Hood not a very good post up player. Darnell Robinson pretty good scorer down the post. Of course they don't shoot it well from the perimeter. Robinson missed the layup, and Delk has it in the corner for the Wildcats. Looks like Derek Hood was going to come up with that offensive rebound, but he couldn't reel it in. Arkansas foul. Derek Hood. As another example of that unselfish play and good passing between the Kentucky big men, Walker spotting McCarty underneath. Yelp for three. Short, got his own. Walker. Got the roll off the front of the rim. Those nice soft rims here at the Superdome. On jumper from Antoine Walker. He's showing you that he has a lot of game. Really playing well for Kentucky. There's McCarty called for a reach in foul. His second. They go 11 deep. The best 11 players in the country, but you can only play five at a time. Interesting to see how the Cats do as the postseason continues. Dunk has done a good job defensively, though, today, even though his shooting stroke has been missing. He scored 10 points. Robinson misses in close for the second time. Mercer down with the ball. The Arkansas fans wanted to travel. It was no call. Walker turns. He has four in the half. He has 15 in the game. And Nolan Richardson wants a timeout. His players don't see it. Now they get the timeout call. It's a 20-second timeout. The 17-25 left, and Kentucky taking right where it left off in the first half. With Bradley out, no one to shoot over this Kentucky zone defense. Towns will for three. Finally got one. Arkansas scores for the first time in the half. They went almost three minutes without a point. Mercer pulls up. And Kentucky red hot to open the half. Pretty little crossover move from Ron Mercer. Arkansas trying to push him. Reed squirts out of the trap and is fouled. Mercer commits his first foul. Three against Kentucky this half. Kentucky playing the man defense now. Oh, emphatic jam, Antoine Hall. Very nice, Antoine Hall showing some hops going through the Kentucky man-to-man, -man, a hammer at home. Antoine Walker, oh, he's got it today. 17 for Walker. He had 23 in the championship game against the Hogs last year. He's hit eight of his 14 shots. Making a run at another SEC Tournament Most Valuable Player Award. Antoine Walker showing it all. Reed has it blocked. Delk spots Mercer. Blocked by Williams. Out of bounds to Kentucky. Angus Williams, nice job running the court. Knocked that one away from Ron Mercer. At the conclusion of the game, we'll be selecting a BP best player from each team. In addition to recognizing our two best players, BP and its dealers will contribute $2,000 to the Southeastern Conference to be distributed among the member institution scholarship funds under a conference approved plan. Arkansas trailing by 20. Get back in this game, they're going to have to play some good defense. Kentucky's been shooting so well to start the second half. Delk, the SEC's best three-point shooter, still struggling from the arc. Got his own rebound and got the roll on the putback. He has a dozen points. Here's Williams to Hall for another stuff. Nine points for Antoine. He's only missed one shot. 
getting some good ones, especially lately. The two dunks in a row for Antoine Hall in Arkansas. Epps feeds Mercer for three. Hope kept it alive. Finally knocks it over to Epps. Kentucky retains possession. Hope spotted the three. Good rebound that time by Arkansas's Landis Williams. Kentucky, the league's best three-point shooting club. Three for 19 right now, shooting the three, 16%. Delk is only one of eight from the arc. And they lead by 20. <laughs> There's a lesson there somewhere. <laughs> There's a block and an apps rebound. I think Pope was the man, either he or McCarty with a block. McCarty on the other end is fouled by Thompson. Nice strong move in the basket by Walter McCarty. Taking it in there and Allie, Allie Thompson. McCarty only averaging 10 points a game this year. He's given up quite a bit of his offense with so much talent on this club. McCarty not asked to score very much, but here showing some athletic ability. His strength this year, up around 230 pounds. McCarty can't get the basket, but he draws a foul, gets to the line. Walter mentioned his weight, uh, as you see what he did. <laughs> Coach Patino benched him for a while, saying he had to gain weight. You're going to have to gain weight. Tony Delk is the latest Wildcat to be bloodied. Getting his leg patched up as McCarty. This is lane violation against Arkansas here will give him another shot. And he connects. Pushes the lead to 22. And this crowd, which was rip roaring early, has been silenced a bit with all the uh, suspense perhaps taken away by the big Kentucky lead. There's Shepard with a reach in foul. Cats, the pressure heavy against Arkansas. Once again, Kareem Reed moving down the court. So the other Razorbacks trying to break the pressure. Kentucky almost forced a turnover, but Shepard reached in with the hack. Arkansas gets the ball along the sideline. His first foul, as you saw, uh, Patino and Delk sharing a smile over on the sideline. Bradley for three. That's his first of the day after a record-breaking seven last night. He's one for three. Finally, Bradley shakes loose to get a three-pointer. A hand in the space, even on that attempt, but he knocks it home. Difficult for you to talk about him after he broke the record. <laughs> I've just about gotten over it now. Jeff Shepard tries to answer, can't do it. Slapped right back to him. Shepard off the glass for two. Shepard, an outstanding athlete, jumps extremely well. Able to get to the basket. Here's another turnover from Arkansas. Anderson, jump stop. Back to Turner. Shepard for three. The Cats rolling. Turn it on right now, trying to put the Hogs away. Just over 13 minutes left in the game. Tom Hammond, Barry Booker, Louisiana Superdome, SEC semifinal round. Kentucky with a big lead over Arkansas. The Wildcats. Completing the season undefeated in SEC play for the first time in 40 years. And rolling here over Arkansas as Anderson commits his first foul. Kentucky defense has been outstanding all day long, forcing Arkansas into a lot of turnovers today, leading to this huge advantage that they have right now. Tony Delk has had a subpar shooting tournament. And yet Kentucky winning big. Well, the SEC's unanimous choice for MVP. Arkansas searching for some offense right now. There's that basket will count. <laughs> That's the continuation rule, I believe. <laughs> Shepard is called for the foul, his second. Don Rutledge feeling generous today. <laughs> Arkansas needs it. Trail by 24 before this bucket. Nice move by Tank going to the hole. The runner goes down. <laughs> that is definitely the continuation rule. Darnell just gave Don Rutledge a little pat there. Thank you for the extra two points. 
And Robinson trying to complete the three-point play. 15 points and nine rebounds in the regular season loss at Rupp Arena. Shepard collects the miss. Struggling away from the ball, Williams and Walker battling for position. And Williams called for the foul. That's number four against Arkansas. First on Landis Williams. Antoine Walker and the Kentucky Wildcats proving that they're more than a three-point shooting club. Walker posting up strong down low, drawing that foul. Cardi misses a jam, but then Anderson got it back. And Walker will shoot again, unhappy with himself after missing right underneath. Right under the basket, he was floating under the basket. A very difficult layup, but one that Walker felt that he should have made. Fumbled the also ball, getting that was fouled. His problem wasn't he fumbled the pass. Pat Bradley commits number two. Didn't handle it cleanly, and then had someone hanging on his arms. It's tough to lay it in under those circumstances. Big game for Antoine Walker. Second big one in a row in this tournament. This would be his 19th point if he can put it through. And he struggled at the line at times this season. Coach Rick Pitino trying to get him to take his time at the line, and he's done a good job at the strike in this tournament. Look out. Look at those hands from yeah. the Booker kid handling the ball. <laughs> well, you can't shoot the threes, I understand, but you did, you did make the save. Saved your partner. You know, that's part of your job. <laughs> that's right. I'm looking out for you, Tommy. <laughs> Arkansas still turned over the Kentucky pressure. Really getting to the wild, getting to the Razorbacks today. That is 18 Arkansas turnovers. Arkansas sent to number 15, Marlon Towns. Notice Derek Anderson asking if you're all right, so polite. Oh, they didn't these uh, Kentucky stars are polite, nice young men, quiet young men. Feeling sorry for you, though, after you had your record broken last night. <laughs> Yeah, twice last night. Brandon Wharton also was seven threes along with Pat Bradley. Well, if you'd have had these friendly rims, though, no telling how many. Oh, it would have been amazing. Get a lot of play out of it, though. Get a lot of air time off it. That works for me. Darnell Robinson has done a good job passing out of the uh, trap, out of the double team. And he finds Marlon Towns for three that time. McCarty answers with a jam on the other end. Well, it's getting out of control. Antoine Walker delivering once again for the Wildcats, and here he comes one more time. No look to McCarty to miss the layup. <laughs> Hurting Antoine's assist total. And then Anderson commits the foul. Second on Derek. How many uh, assists does Antoine Walker have today to go with uh, everything else he's doing? Three. Fouls on number 23. Antoine Walker Anderson, developing into a superstar for the foul. Kentucky Wildcats, only a sophomore. But a lot of game for Antoine. He can handle the basketball. Excellent in the low post and passes the ball extremely well. Darnell Robinson will be at the free throw line. That's the seventh Kentucky foul. So one plus one. Darnell, the lone Razorback that's really had a good game. That's 11 points to go with eight rebounds for Tank. It's an inexperienced Arkansas club. They start four freshmen now. Darnell, a junior, the only starter who's not a freshman. So they're gonna they're gonna be very good as the years go by at Arkansas. They're gonna develop into a very good ball club. Delk finds Mercer for three. Back rim. It'll be picked up by Tony Delk in backcourt. Arkansas is pretty good right now, expecting an NCAA tournament bid. The Wildcats a little too strong for them today. Both these teams should be playing next week. We know Kentucky will be, and Arkansas likely also. In fact, I think all four teams we'll see in the semifinals today will be in action in the SEC. Robinson blocked McCarty. Walter got it back, and then an Arkansas foul. <laughs> Boy, these 90s-style celebrations are kind of rough. Antoine Walker just blasted McCarty as congratulations. After this play inside, McCarty trying to slam it over Darnell Robinson. Can't get it down, but draws the foul. Then Walker drills it. 
That's three on Darnell. Darnell hanging in there against the Kentucky big guys inside. They've been banging away on each other. And a little smile and a little woofing going on. Looks like everybody's having a good time. Walter McCarty has hit all three of his free throws today. Now four for four on the season, just a 69% shooter. Batting 1,000 today. Having a good scoring afternoon, too. That gives him 17. So McCarty and Walker. Cats do everything so well. They're crushing Arkansas on the glass today. Big, big rebound edge for, for Kentucky and also scoring well. So much talent. Nice catch by Hall. Couldn't hit the reverse. Hood has it rejected by Walker. And then Walker gets right in his face. <laughs> Juan Walker blocking shots as well, doing it all today. With a smile on his face, gets in Derek Hood's face. A little animosity there as Antoine Walker smacking that shot out of bounds. Kentucky's out rebounded to Arkansas, as you mentioned, 39 to 22. Robinson will shoot two. This one got not intimidated by Kentucky or Antoine Walker's antics. And Kentucky has forced 20 Arkansas turnovers. Third foul on Antoine Walker. No, excuse me, the foul was on Walter McCarty's third. Darnell Robinson at the line, two shots. Maybe the one weakness for Kentucky is handling a strong post-up game. UMass Hughes Marcus can be inside in their win against Kentucky. The Wildcats alone lost this season. Arkansas tried Darnell Robinson and Lee Wilson inside with very little success. Kentucky very strong here in postseason. One of two for Darnell. Walker has another rebound. Mercer. Another nice pull-up basket for Ron Mercer in transition play. Double down on Robinson. Quick pass out to Towns. They've worked that to perfection today. 15 for Marlon Towns and Robinson doing a great job passing out of the double down. Five of seven shooting for Marlon Towns. How many assists does Darnell have? Four assists. Marlon Towns is wearing it out from three-point range today. All five of those shots, three-pointers. Last night we saw Steve Hamer double and triple team by the Georgia. There's a steal by Towns. Double and triple team by the Georgia defense. And on many occasions waiting too long to pass it out of the trap. Well, Darnell Robinson has done a fine job of that today. Not waiting for the trap to get him in an awkward situation. Catching, recognizing the trap, and passing it to the open man. Arkansas sets at number five. Darnell Robinson, the junior, missed 13 games with a foot injury. He is back and has played well down the stretch for the Arkansas Razorbacks. His 12th game back. Three-pointer by Dell. And the SEC's best three-point shooter continues to struggle from the arc. Only one of nine. Thompson. Couldn't finish it. Turner the rebound. Leads the break. Three on two. Turner to lay it in. Nice decision there by Wayne Turner to keep the ball, get all the way to the basket for the layup. Another turnover from Arkansas. That is 22. With nine minutes left. Mercer on the low block. Lost it out of bounds. Arkansas only turned it over seven times here in the second half. That's a big improvement over there, 15 in the first. Kentucky for the game, 10 Arkansas turnovers. Arkansas sits at number 22, Pat Bradley for number Pat five. Pat Bradley returns. Just heard Rick Pitino across the floor say to Antoine Walker, Antoine, no more talking, stop talking. Reed misses, Walker taps it. Here's another three on two break. Walker with a fancy dribbling and no look to Turner who got it. Antoine Walker, he's just having fun. He's telling his coach he's just having a ball out here. No more talking. He needs actions talk louder than his words. Dell got the Turner steal to lay it in. Kentucky clicking on all cylinders this afternoon. Outstanding performance by the Wildcats. 
Another timeout from Arkansas. Antoine Walker as McCarty commits a foul. That's a foolish foul as Landis Williams had position to just lay it in and McCarty with a needless foul couldn't stop him. And that's the fourth on Walter. See, there it is. Frustrated, poor defense to let Williams catch the ball in that close to the basket. McCarty a little frustration foul and he'll get to take a seat. Had a good game though overall with 17 points and six rebounds. Cardi and Walker done a great job on the glass for the Wildcats. Nice job inside for the Cats today. Williams misses the free throw. Pope for the rebound. Here's the trap of Turner. Pope brings it into front court and now numbers Kentucky. Another pull up by Mercer. That one no good. Pope is hammered as he takes it back up. Very physical game this afternoon, but no animosity between these two clubs. The coaches get along so well. Coach Patino and Nolan Richardson, good relationship, get along very well. I think that translates to the players. They played hard. Here's the, the contact on Pope with that rebound, but nothing beyond that. It was the first man to make uh, contact, Marlon Towns, that was called for the foul, his fourth. And he leaves the game with 15 points, hitting five of seven from the arc. So Towns and Robinson have really been the only bright spots for Arkansas today. Pope succeeds at the line, and Kentucky goes up 79-51. Kentucky is shooting their foul shots extremely well today. They're strong in so many areas. Shooting the basketball, rebounding, the defense outstanding. They're going to be hard to beat in March. Or April. <laughs> Absolutely. They lead the U.S. in scoring margin at over 23 a game and on track to Better that. Oh, Delk saved it right to Turner, who fumbled it out of bounds. A rare Kentucky miscue, their 11th turnover. I was checking out Kentucky's media guide. Of course, that's written in the preseason. And the expected weakness for the Wildcats was passing the basketball. And that's laughable right now as they <laughs> average better than 20 assists a game. One of the most unselfish teams you've ever seen. Delk was sandwiched, no call, and Arkansas comes up with the basketball. Very unselfish, and that's the most difficult thing for teams that are so talented to give up part of their game, part of their scoring for the good of the team. Rick Patino's done a great job of getting his Wildcats to do just that. They've all bought into the Patino dictum that you sacrifice personal goals to team goals. And to get high school All-Americans touted highly talented players to all do that is a coaching feat of no small accomplishment. When you have so much talent, no one has to play for this Kentucky Wildcat team. If Rick Patino is not happy with one of these guys, he has two or three <laughs> sitting beside him that are just as good. I've often thought it was more difficult to coach a highly talented team than it is a team of role players or a team with one star. I think that's definitely true when guys know exactly what their role is, but these Kentucky Wildcats doing a great job. They share the basketball so well. They get along together so well. No jealousies for these guys. Mercer left open from the arc. Head rattles down. Mercer shaking his head. No, like, God, I expected a swish. I didn't expect that to have to go down and come back through. <laughs> when you're the best, when you're number one, you're disappointed when it doesn't go just right. He has nine points. Darnell turns on Polk, but won't go. Williams, after a couple of taps by Kentucky players, gets the gift bucket, his seventh point. Kareem Reed kept that one alive. They would knock it to Landis Williams for the easy bucket. Turner with a 
lead pass from Mercer oh. traveled. <laughs> Packed his luggage on that one went a, a long way, but that young freshman going to be outstanding for Rick Patino the next few years, or as long as he decides to stay in Lexington before opting for an NBA career that he hopes will develop. Interesting that he chose Kentucky because he didn't have to be the star right away; could come along slowly, and he's done that. But here he is on the number one team. That has won 26 in a row, headed for 27. The foul called on Ron Mercer. And it's worked. Um, he has come along slowly. You can see him develop as the season has gone along. Rick Pitino says in practice you can really see his skills. He has escaped the pressure of having to produce as a freshman. That is very difficult. As a freshman, it's tough to adjust to the college game. So many adjustments, and Mercer able to ease his way into that at the University of Kentucky. Williams hits one of two. Antoine Walker with another rebound. How many is that for him now? 14 boards. As in the first half, Walker collected his eighth double double of the season. He'll get another little Wildcat on his uniform trunks. Here's the last foul. Shepard fouled by Davis. Shepard trying to fight through that defensive pressure, the trap, Arkansas. Desperation right now, trying to knock the ball away, force some turnovers. Walker, look on it. That's his left leg there. He's turned the wrong way, but. Uh, Jimmy Moore will get a shot of it. That's uh, well, the Wildcat insignia that you get for a double double as Williams rips down that rebound. We're ducking for cover. Robinson, quick pass back out. Reed's penetration, the floater though no good. Mercer batted it out of bounds. Quiet here in the Superdomes. This issue is apparently settled. Did you ever think you could hear Kentucky or Arkansas fans this quiet? The two most boisterous groups of fans in the Southeastern Conference. Bradley pumps a quick three, no good. Reed collared the rebound. Bradley gave it up to the bigger Robinson and flipped him through. Nice move by Darnell. A little hang time up and under for Darnell going to the basket. He has 14 points. Look ahead for these clubs. Kentucky trying for their fifth consecutive SEC tournament title. And Rick Pitino, 12 and 0 in SEC tournament Arkansas play. You see Darnell Robinson getting the pass from Bradley coming down the lane. A little hanging lay in for Tank. Nice move. He's had a good game today. Ron Mercer hits the first free throw. He'll have another. Kentucky is Oliver Simmons. Oliver Simmons, the freshman from Nashville, seeing his first action as Mark Pope goes to the bench. So Kentucky awaits the winner of the second game, Mississippi State and Georgia. Kentucky the toughest game they had all season long was against the Georgia Bulldogs in Athens. Toughest game in SEC play. Allen Edwards enters the fray. Kentucky has not been in very many close games. It'll be interesting to see how they react if that occurs as they move through the NCAA tournament. Simmons with a foul. Nine points now for Landis Williams, the sophomore from Tulsa. Prepare for the NCAA tournament, Arkansas. It'll be a very dangerous six, seven, or eight seed in one of the regionals. Wouldn't want to run across them early in the tournament. Of course, before they lost Peyton out of bio, that was especially true. They had just begun to play a really good basketball before they lost those two, their leading scorer and leading rebounder. You kind of take for granted that Arkansas is going to win 20 games, win the Western Division of the SEC, but. Nolan Richardson struggled after losing those two players, and they're starting to get it together again after realizing that they won't be back. 
Without Adebayo, they're four and three. There's a three-point shot. Bradley, his sixth point. Without Jesse Payton in the lineup, Arkansas won three and lost three. Edwards finds Walker. Nice move. Good pass underneath, and Walker turns and puts in number 21. Outstanding passing. Edwards delivering the, to Walker. Looked like it would be a difficult catch, but Walker handled it and laid it in very well. And Antoine with a steal. He's going to lead the break. No look, Edwards. Collision, no call. <laughs> and Edwards says, all right, well, I'll just put it in. <laughs> Ran right over Kareem Reed, kind of glanced down at him and laid it right in. Nolan Richardson still wanting the call on that play, wanting the, the charge on Kareem Reed. A lot of contact. And the hand for Antoine Walker, who leaves the game. He just picked up his fourth foul. Here's the no look, the latest one. Antoine Walker, yet another assist. <laughs> Edwards glances down. Was that, was that contact? Was that someone who hit me? <laughs> and just lays it in. Plows right over Reed. <laughs> that was great. Just looked at him and said, oh, okay. <laughs> no whistle. I'll take the two. Darnell Robinson hits. Which give us the line there on Antoine for the day. Nolan Richardson saying it's not over. But it appears to be with 312 left and Kentucky leading at 90. 64. Walker with 21 points, 14 rebounds, and five assists to lead Kentucky. A lot of folks talking about Georgia and the trouble they've given Kentucky, but stayed a very talented club and of course the number one seed. Nazi Muhammad, the freshman, is in for Kentucky, and so is Cameron Mills, only the fifth game Mills has seen action in this season. 301 remaining in this semifinal contest. Oliver Simmons will shoot two. Oliver Simmons going to Nolan Richards is still working along the sidelines. He was upset in that play a few minutes ago. The contact between Edwards and Kareem Reed. Very upset on that play, wanting the officials to keep working this basketball game, saying it's not over. The officials have a tendency late in the game with the spread as it is with points right now to just kind of keep the clock running if at all possible. Well, I thought he did kind of flop. I didn't think there was a lot of contact. I agreed with the no call. He did take Edwards by surprise as you saw on the replay, just looking down like, what was that? Andre Patil has a call. It's Muhammad's first foul. Kentucky foul is on number 13, Nazi Muhammad. Darnell Robinson working inside on Nazi down low. Darnell Robinson at the line for the foul line. He's had a good game, Darnell has. That's his 17th point. He also has eight rebounds, four blocks, and five assists. A similar game to the one Antoine Walker has had for Kentucky. Missed the second free throw. Williams with an offensive rebound. Block. Robinson taps once, twice. Still alive till Muhammad takes it for Kentucky. And then his call for the offensive foul as he decks an Arkansas player with an elbow. Landis Williams down for Arkansas. Checking his dental work after that elbow from Nazi Muhammad trying to clear that rebound. And Nolan Richardson using this opportunity to yell at the officials. Nazi trying to clear, getting that rebound. Nolan Richardson still on the court after coming out there to, to check on his player. Let's see if Landis is okay. And as you said, <laughs> taking the opportunity to. Uh... <laughs> Nolan Richardson giving the officials an earful. Is this. Got him kind of under the chin, it appeared. Yeah, a little bit of an elbow, like Williams. It didn't look as vicious uh, as uh, Williams yeah. would have you believe. <laughs> and a delayed reaction is when he went down, too. So probably not a lot of contact on that play. Robinson misses a three. Thompson with a follow jam. Towns intercepts and scores. Nolan Richardson continues to work the officials to some success getting the foul called on that play. And he'll have a chance for a three-point opportunity. 
Rick Pitino's seen enough. He sends Walter McCarty and Jeff Shepard in for Mills and Simmons. Kentucky has some turnovers here late with the substitutes in the ball game. Marlon Towns coming up with that steal and easy basket. Gets foul. Towns, the other man that's had a good game for Arkansas. He has 18 points now. He's hit five for seven from the arc. Time Kentucky handles the pressure. Turner penetrates, goes glass, and a chance for a three point play. That's again Pat Bradley on the reach in, does that a lot, gets a lot of foul, fouls called because he likes to reach in, try to go for the steal. Turner, nice move around him. Bradley opposition and Turner gets that one in off the glass. Fouls on number 22, Pat Bradley, his third personal foul. Turner at the line. Freshman Wayne Turner from the Boston area. Arkansas sends at number 21, Landis Williams. Landis Williams is back in the game. As he's getting those elbows sharpened up in anticipation. Under two minutes. Williams ducks under Mohammed to lay it in. Darnell, smooth move, going to the basket. Shepard laying it for Mohammed. It's blocked by Williams. Ah, that's fair enough, says Landis. Take that. <laughs> Nazi didn't have a prayer on that one. The Razorbacks were in the air waiting for him, and he tried to bring that one up and get it to the basket. Kentucky has a little drop off pass by Jeff Shepard going to the basket. Nazi a little slow getting his shot underway and gets that one thrown back down his throat. And then he travels to turn it over. Kentucky will uh, push its SEC tournament record to 87 14. 14 straight SEC tournament wins for the Wildcats. Reed for three. Reed, Reed, seventh point. Thompson picks off that pass. Muhammad threw it over the head of Jeff Shepard. And Reed dishes to Williams, blocked by McCarty. Here's Edwards on a run out. Cats have gotten a little sloppy late in the ball game, but that time they get the break. Allen Edwards. Off the block from McCarty, an outlet. Edwards gets the easy dunk. Reed for another three-pointer. That one missed everything right into the arms of McCarty. Final 30 seconds. A little set shot from Kareem Reed. Wayne Turner got a hand on that one. Edwards missed the reverse layup. McCarty dishes it off underneath to Muhammad, who is fouled, or knocked out of bounds, excuse me, no foul. Nazi again gets that one knocked away as we're shot clock turned off, only 21 seconds to play. Let's see if Kentucky will just hold it here. Shepard partially blocked. Town throws it away. Walter McCarty led the Kentucky attack today as Tony Delk had another subpar shooting afternoon. And the Wildcats will win their 27th game in a row. They'll go to 28 and 1 on the year.